Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I'm an Ass Abloy Hospitality Cylinder. This is seven pins and definitely, definitely have security pins because, you know, that's Ass Abloy. For, well, honestly, that's not always Ass Abloy. Let me correct myself. Um, but high tolerances with Ass Abloy, but uh, yes, with security pins. So um, let's give this a shot. I have opened it once and uh, haven't opened it since. Uh, typically, I find I have a um, hard time getting to a false set, but once I get to the false set, it feels like things uh, start to fall in place, and I know, okay, some pins are for sure set. Sure, seven set. Six spring. There's pen one. Six, I think. Seven, six, it's five, I think, actually. Now I'm not feeling anything. I find this sometimes the position I'm in. Seven feels set. Six feels set. Five. One again. Oh, maybe not. It was lifting like lifting like it was gonna like it was binding. Apparently not. So
heard one drop. I'm just not getting any feedback. Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna wrench on it again. Just screw it. I'm looking for that pink false set, and it's just not wanting to fall into it. Which is super frustrating. I can't tell if one is binding or if it's the angle I'm trying to lift it up at. I think, I think one is set. Just let them down because I'm not feeling anything. Alright, there's some movement from 7. It's a different angle that I'm at. I am using more of my finger force rather than levering off the bottom. So I think that's probably helping me not want to overset. Like five. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I've been waiting for. The false set. Once I get here in the false set, I know I can make movement. And I can't wait to get this damn thing open and see what's inside because I have not gutted it yet. So let's get through our spool pins. Make sure I'm on the right pin here for it. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. There we go. Pin two. Sorry, that was pin three, actually. There's pin two. So three, two. More on two. There we go. Make 
sure two's fully set there. That's high. Oh, there we go. That was three. One more full set. We're almost there. That's definitely not it. That's low. Okay, yeah, seven, six, or set. It's not one. Yeah, it feels like it has to be two, because I kind of that pin right there. Let's make sure I'm under it correctly. <clears throat> stuff drop. This makes me feel like I was pushing on the warding there with that kind of rotation. Oh, okay, we're back, back into it, so let's find where that spool is. So it's not, I'm not losing everything, luckily. That was three again. Let's make sure that I am hitting the right one. Okay, that is it. Find myself in a loop. There we go. Three. Feels like two wants to go next. Just like before. There we go. In that false set now. And now <clears throat> again it feels like feels like that is correct that I wanted to lift two next, but let's make sure I'm gonna go from a different angle. Yeah, I'm not sure. Make sure nothing else. It's two, all right. Okay, two is set, and we didn't drop anything that time. Okay, we're almost there. So this happened last time. This is very interesting. I um, don't know what this is, <laughs> but I know um, once I came in here and I hit something just right, it fully opens. And I don't think I have to be too gentle about it. I think it's just something sticking. So I actually took it all the way out of the vise last time. There we go. So it was a high pin right there, I think on four or something, just barely sticking down there. So maybe that's a tapered, no, that's way too much of a turn. Anyway, there's our open. <laughs> Sorry, excited, finally got this open. Here's our open, and again, here is, before I, um, I'll cut to uh, gut it, but here's our key, here's our bidding. This was very good bidding, a lot of fun to pick on. So yeah, let me cut, get this gutted, seven pins. All right, we're all gutted, and here's what we have inside, is we are loaded with trampoline pins. And actually, it is also um, uh, master keyed as well, is what it seems. There are uh, several other smaller master pins in here. So let's get a little closer shot of that. 
there are the pins, all the trampoline pins. That's probably why it felt like there was like a double spool in there as I was going over the little trampoline hump right there. They call them trampoline pins because they look like trampolines. If you played any of the old, old uh, Super Mario games, they look like the Mario trampoline, trampolines from there. And uh, what was interesting, the reason why when I picked it, it turned a little bit and got stuck is exactly what you see sticking out a little bit right there. It is a, um, it's a check pin. So let's see if I can get a good angle on that. There we go. And you can see here's our normal Bible holes right here. Actually, I can do better than that. I've got to have a, a light here. If it would go on the uh, brighter function for me, please. There we go. So we see the holes for our normal Bible right there. And there's this check pin right here. And you can actually see there are a whole bunch of pins behind it there as well. So you can see that second row of pins. They are completely... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Do it like this. There we go. You can see that second row of pins right there. And you can see only the first pin is sticking straight up right there in the front, which is super interesting. So it's a check pin, so once you pick it, it, um, it lodges down. You have to pick the check pin, which is just a standard pin. These don't fall out. They, they go through a second Bible right here, but they don't fall out. So they just this one sticks out, and the rest, the rest of them in the back behind it, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five of them, uh, don't do anything. They just kind of sit there. So it's super interesting. Now I was wondering why they had this type of checkman thing. So I uh, looked it up and um, so what it says from what I've seen from uh, Georgia Gym is the function of hotel staff would have a different key that lets them prevent guests from being able to operate the lock while they're in the room. So that's the way the uh, checkman works is for that extra key there. That way it locks in place, I guess is what that means. Um, so it's just, you can remove it. Let's see, I don't know. You can remove it. But anyway, so very interesting. Uh, that's probably why they call it a hospitality cylinder is because that way when the um, hotel staff is in the room, they have their uh, key in it. It prevents the lock being, from being able to be operated while they are in the room. So it's kind of like a heads up. Hey, someone's in your room. <clears throat> Nobody can get locked in or out of it in that sense. But uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, here is the uh, key once again. Um, S. Abelay Hospitality Cylinder. Uh, always high tolerances, uh, fun locks to pick. Always recommend a NASA. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching.